made a board game. And your uh, name? Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Jory, and I observed 10th grade AP Euro and History of the Western World. And what they were doing when I was there was learning about the Age of Exploration, like Christopher Columbus and Bartolome Diaz and um, um, Hernando Cortez, etc. So that the people I just listed are each of the little players. Okay. And so this is kind of like cranium. Um, you start start in um, each color represents a different theme. Like purple equals religion. Green equals like either something that has to do with economics or miscellaneous. <laughs> and orange has to do with um, like the explorers themselves and the geography, like such as like the the route they took or something. And so um, you would um, hypothetically, if you're playing this, I guess you would roll the dice and. Um, like one or two would be purple, three or four would be orange, and five or six would be green. And um, it's a race to the new world, which is what the explorers discovered. And so so for like the first one, if you got purple, if you rolled and you got purple, you would answer the question. If you got it wrong, you wouldn't move. If um, you got it right, you would roll your next turn or whatever. And then, so you would roll, and if the next one you would move however many spaces and you would land on orange, that would mean, put on, the next question would be an orange question. Okay, well that's not working, but it should go You can click way. on that. So if we answer this question, then we move a space. Is that the deal? Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. Well, like if you didn't answer like the whole thing, then you wouldn't get it. Okay, so it's all or none. Is, okay. Yeah, is he from France? No. Oh no. He's from England. He's English. He's from Germany. And so he had three voyages. Okay, remember the Seinfeld video we watched? Four, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are so funny. So, yeah, I don't know. So I guess funny. I kind of would do this as, um, like, to see if they read, like, an assignment from the night before or, like, as a review before a test because that's what they did when I was there. They were reviewing for a test and they made presentations and then they took a test. So. Okay. Um, it, I wasn't really there for the actual like teaching of the lesson or whatever, so um, it was more towards the end where they were reviewing. So, okay. Yeah. So, um, what do you guys think about this activity? Do you think was it would it be like fun? Yeah. No, because that one you just have to answer. Or that one you just draw and you get to move. This one you have to answer a question. And if you, I really well, yeah, like it. It, it is. It's but a smart game. I like yeah, it because it's like the a good review mm -hmm. and it's a game so they're just sitting I really and they get to liked interact it. with friends. Because like a lot of the teachers do do this where it's just do do. You said do do. What grade no, were you teaching? Ten grade. Yes. A lot Very of appropriate. teachers use this concept <laughs> where <laughs> they just have question after question after question on a review. I like the board game part. Yeah. yeah. Makes it a little more it's exciting, more so it's a good twist to it. And you would um, have like a student running the board. Yeah, and yeah. Would. Now, do you think this would be appropriate to send to the teacher? Like to say, here's something I came up I with for. I was actually for thinking of that because like, yeah. we're, like I've had him and he had my brother and so we're kind of like. So you like, know him more than so just being thinking, his cousin. Like, I, yeah. I was thinking of sending him an email and be like, so I had to make this for Cavs. So I don't know if you could use this next year. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. And if the teacher can actually use it, that just validifies what you did. So, okay. Uh, ten. Or validates, yeah. So what do we think? Good? Thumbs up? Good? All right. Good job.